is the devil's world. Oh yeah. Let me give you a Bible. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter, chapter four. four. And we'll start at verse one. Follow, no, let's go right to the point. Begin at verse three. Second Corinthians Read quick, four, son. verse three. All right. But if our gospel be hid, if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. It is hid to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world, who the God of this world, who the God of this world, what did the God of this world do? Has blinded the minds of them which believe not. The Amen. God of this world have blind the human family. That's right. And they are blind, blind. too. Oh, yeah. Hey Amen. Mothers are blind. Fathers are blind. Children are blind. Yeah. Bishops and preachers are blind. Oh, yeah. Church organizations around the world, blind. Blind. Or it take God and we're here by God's permission to open up your blinded eyes. That's right. Let's go back to Revelation. Back in Revelation chapter 3 and verse 14. Follow me. Verse 15. All right. I would. I would. Thou were cold. Thou were cold. Or hot. Now, cold, solid, firm, steadfast. Yeah. Hot. Hot. It is written, did not our heart burn, burn. while he spake with us? That's right. So, the heat of the gospel. The message bring about coldness to make you sound, stable, firm. Now you got the heat of the gospel, which is a purifying power. That's right. For it takes heat to kill bacteria. That's right. And the worst bacteria is sin. Oh, yeah. So here come, did not John says, one come after me, that's mighty than I, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. fire. So God want us to be hot. hot. Hot is when you have the word of the Lord which is the power of the word in you and it consumes that's right. everything that is in us of us that's not like him. That's right. Are you listening? I would that word cold. So the Lord says I want you to be cold or, or hot. hot. Or I want you to be steadfast in the written. They continue mm -hmm. steadfast in the apostles' doctrine. In other words, they continue to be cold yeah. in the apostles' doctrine. They continue to be solid yeah. in the apostles' doctrine. They continue to be one yeah. in the apostles' doctrine. That's right. Hallelujah to God. That's right. So we have the coldness now. Oh. We got to have the heat. Hot, hot. You got to have the heat brought to you and you got to have the heat felt in you. That's right. That's right. God is a spirit. spirit. What kind of spirit is God? Holy. Holy. The nature of God is divine. That's right. But not only is the nature of God's spirit but also the expressions or the words of God is spirit. That's right. Jesus said the words that I speak unto you. Do you hear this? Now in the book of St. John chapter 6 and at verse 63. Jesus said. It is the spirit that quickeneth. Wait a minute. Amen. You better go at the verse up above that. Verse 62. Follow me. What and if ye shall see the son of man. If you see the son of man. Ascend up where he was before. Ascend up where he was before. It is the spirit that quickeneth. It is the spirit that revives. That's right. It is the spirit that quicken. It is the spirit that revive. It is the spirit that move. It is the spirit that function. The, uh -huh. the flesh profiteth nothing. Now. Mm. Amen. Amen. When the son of man, the son of God, Christ Jesus was walking here on earth. Mm -hmm. On his own. On his own. Done nothing. Nothing. The body without the spirit is what? Dead. So on his own, he didn't heal the sick. That's right. On his own, he didn't raise Lazarus. That's right. And on his own, he didn't walk on water. That's right. Because the Bible says what? The flesh profiteth nothing. The flesh profiteth nothing. Nothing. So therefore, it was the spirit, the Father, Jehovah, Elohim, Yahweh, God, Lord, Almighty, right. the divine one that worked in the flesh and kept that body afloat so it could walk on water. That's right. That's the right. son of God says, the move the stone away. Mm -hmm. The spirit that was in him said, Lazarus, come forth. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. 
What is that? It is the spirit that quickeneth. It is the spirit that revives. The flesh profiteth nothing. That goes for the church. You can't do nothing on your own. No. You need the spirit to quicken you. That's right. Uh -huh. The words. Oh, read to God. Hallelujah. The words that I speak unto you. That I speak unto you. They are spirit. They are divine. And, and they, they are life. Why you think all these folks come and going down in the water from all around the world? Amen. It's not Geno Jennings. No. I profiteth nothing. That's right. But it is the spirit and the words. that quicken it. That's right. And they're not hearing the words of Mr. Jennings. No, no. I say like Jesus said. The words that I the speak words unto you. That I speak unto you. Unto you. They are spirit. They are spirit. And, and they are life. Are life. Are life. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory That's to right. God. That's Are right. you listening? That's right. Jesus told his apostles. That's right. It is not. That's right. You that speak. That speaketh. It is not. You that speak. That's right. But it is the voice mm -hmm. of my father speaketh that speaketh in you. In you. In so you. therefore, it isn't Pastor Jennings that's drawing a crowd. No way. No. That's it. It is Jehovah that's drawing the crowd. That's right. That's right. No man can do this work on his own. No way. It is God that have to make him cold. That's right. It is God that have to make him hot. Hot. It is only if he lukewarm, God will have a problem with. That's right. So then, listen. Now in Revelation 3 and verse 16. Listen. So then. So then. Because thou art lukewarm. Because you are lukewarm. Hold it. Amen. Eh, let's oh. discuss this lukewarm, lukewarm business. That's right. When you're lukewarm, mm. the water ain't cold. Amen. And the water ain't hot. No. So you're in between. That's right. And when you're in between of cold and hot, yeah. you're in a comfort zone. That's right. That's right. Because most people don't like to sit in cold water. No. And most people don't like the water too hot. That's right. That's why they mix it. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's why you mix it. That's right. That's what right. do you mean, Pastor Jennings? Go ahead, Glory to God. Go ahead. You out there that are listening and watching, and many of you here feel as though I'm mean. Amen. That man don't got no love. He's cold as ice. Amen. He's mean like fire. Yeah. Because you have a lukewarm religion. That's right. And that lukewarm, you feel as though the Bible, you know, even ice can burn you. Yes, it can. Yes, yeah. it can. Oh, yes. That's true. Even ice can burn you. That's true. So you don't want the coldness, coldness. of Scripture. No. You don't want the heat of scripture no so you come along and want to mix scripture with theology to bring down the temperature of truth that's right go ahead so now you're lukewarm, lukewarm. you brag because you baptize in the name of jesus christ and have the holy ghost speaking in tongue but yet you got a woman preacher in the pulpit you're lukewarm you're lukewarm you brag that you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, yet you believe there's no apostles now. You're lukewarm. That's right. You brag that you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, yet you believe there's three gods in heaven. Yeah. You're lukewarm. You have got comfortable in the atmosphere that calls you to do what you want, think what you want, act the way you want, and go wherever you please, because if you become too cold, that, that stiffens and limit your momentum. That's right. I don't care how wild you are. Yeah. This gospel will freeze you. <laughs> That's right. Yes, it will. Yeah. Yes, it will. You take Go ahead. a piece of meat Amen. and freeze it. Yeah. That meat is under a new law. That's right. That's right. There's no flexibility, no shaking. Amen. 
the ice forms, it's like a girl. Yeah. It don't move. No. The scripture said, gunner up your lawns. That's right. By obeying the truth. That's right. So God have an argument, Amen. a gripe, mm -hmm. a complaint mm -hmm. with lukewarm church folk. I know thy works. You baptized, got the Holy Ghost, and got a cigarette hanging out your mouth, you lukewarm. Lukewarm. You baptized and got the Holy Ghost and you gay, you mm. lukewarm. Lukewarm. Very lukewarm. Very. <laughs> That's Am right. I right, I said. That's right. That's right. Baptized and had the Holy Ghost and believe no other color can come in your religion, you lukewarm. Yeah. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. Amen. The Bible says what? So then because thou art lukewarm. And another thing that ice does naturally, it keeps bacteria out. That's right. It keeps germs out. So what is ice? It's a protection. That's right. That's why God says he prefer that you are cold. You have to sit under the word of God so the climate in your life can change. Amen. Wonderful one. That keep the bacteria out. That's right. Wonderful. What is your bacteria? False religion, false belief, sin, wickedness. Yeah. Go ahead. Are you listening? Amen. You need the word, the heat of the gospel mm -hmm. to consume it, burn it, do away with it. And then once the heat consume you, then it come back, freeze you. That's right. So that way it holds all the flavor. Amen. Amen. Then you can taste the Lord. Mm. Go ahead. And see that, see he's, that he's good. good. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Amen. Judge yourself. Mm. You that are here, you that are watching. Amen. Are you Luke lukewarm? Warm? Lukewarm. Many churches started out sound, strict, firm. They were cold oh. and they were hot. Yeah. But as the church began to flourish mm -hmm. and the offering pans turned to trash cans. Yeah. Am I right? That's right. And the preacher went from a Volkswagen to a Bentley. Yeah. And he went from a trailer home to a mansion. That's right. That's right. Off the backs of hardworking church people. Amen. Lukewarm, Lukewarm trickled in. Yeah. So now the things that he used to preach against, he don't preach against no more out of fear of offending your wallet. That's right. That's right. So now anything goes. Yeah. But what he's ignoring, as long as you lukewarm, you are exposed to bacteria. That's right. Parasites. That's right. Satan. Yeah. So Satan come among this lukewarm congregation and feast yeah. on the weak. Oh yeah. You sit in church and deteriorate. Mm. You sit in church, I don't care how long you've been saved. You sit in church and deteriorate and die and you can feel yourself dying a slow spiritual death. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. I hope you can get this. I would. Give chapter and verse forget again. Revelation 3 and at verse 15. I, I would. I prefer. I, I would that were cold. That you are cold. Or hot. Or hot. Now, mm -hmm. <laughs> you may have been cold, solid, firm, strong 20 years ago. Yeah. But did your climate change and now you're being thawed out? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Now, any woman know. You know, you just thaw out certain meats. Mm -hmm. You don't put it in hot water. That's true. Because the heat from the water can cook the meat. That's right. So most time the woman may put it in a lukewarm area. Yeah. Lukewarm water. Yeah. Well, in other words, she want to keep the temperature balanced. Mm -hmm. So when she thaw out the meat, the meat don't spoil. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Religion have a lukewarm teaching. Yeah. They may talk about Jesus, but they don't talk about Jesus with fire. That's right. That's they right. got this weak Hollywood version of Jesus. Yeah. If you take note, whenever Hollywood got a fraud, mm -hmm. acting like he's supposed to be Jesus. That's right. 
They always make the Hollywood version of Jesus timid. Yeah. Cowardly. Yeah. Weak. That's right. Weak. Come out, my son. <laughs> Amen. It's supposed to be Jesus casting out devils. Yeah. I command thee. <laughs> I, I command thee. That's right. He always got his wrist broke. That's the way they have him. I command thee. Come out, my son. Come out. That's right. Hold thine peace. <laughs> peace be still. That's right. Look at every picture they try to paint that's supposed to be Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> always looking feminine. That's right. Fairyish. That's right. Timid. Weak. Weak. Jesus was militant. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Turned over tables. Amen. Beat you out the temple. Out the temple. That's right. Called you hypocrites and heathens and liars. Yes, he did. Was there nothing weak about him? No, no. <laughs> A lukewarm pastor, lukewarm. a lukewarm leader creates a lukewarm congregation. That's right. You find people going to church, men with shorts, yeah. t-shirts, mm -hmm. women going with halters, That's right. short pants, half naked, up on the choir, talking about they dressing casual with just with hot pants on and tell you, you know, God ain't looking at your outward, he looking at all this this amusement is a carnival. That's right. And when you sit in this lukewarmness for years, it becomes normal to you. Yeah. You take a family that's been raised in filth and dirt. When they go to somebody's house that's clean, mm. they think something wrong with the house. That's right. That's there ain't right. nothing wrong with that clean family. You just dirty. Amen. So folks that sit in lukewarm churches, yeah. you think something wrong with me. That's why you said that man ain't got no love. Amen. That man ain't got no mercy. Mm -hmm. That man, he, he, he's, he's just beside himself. Ain't nothing wrong with me. That's right. You just dirty and lukewarm. lukewarm. We got a clean message. That's right. That clean up our dirty people. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Listen. So then, because thou art lukewarm, because you're lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, and you're not cold, you're not sound, you're not hot, you're not filled with God, you don't want the word of God, so what will God do to you? I will spew thee out of my mouth. I'm going to send you to hell. That's it. That's right. Notice, the spewing out the mouth represents the rejection of that person. That's right. But wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. When is God going to actually spew you out? Of the mouth. In a book. Spewing out of the mouth represents things being said. That's right. So let's see what God going to say. In the book of St. Matthew chapter 7 and at verse 23. You see how the scriptures just linked together? Amen. Listen. Matthew 7 and verse 23. That's what? And then will I profess unto them. This is where? This is, this is spewing you out. Spewing you out. They will not profess unto them. I never knew you. I don't know you. Depart from me. Get away from me. He that work iniquity. That's spewing you out. Spewing you out of the mouth. Are you listening? That's right. All lukewarm people in the world. Amen. Your religion don't mean nothing. That's right. When you're lukewarm, the Lord of heaven and earth will spew thee out of my mouth. Shall spew you out of his mouth. That's right. He said first in the church apostles, mm -hmm. your raggedy Ann and Andy preachers say it ain't none. God <laughs> gonna spew you out. Spew you out. God said, I suffer not a woman that teach no the use of authority of the man with the learning and silence. Mm -hmm. You'll preach your wife if the assistant pastor. Mm -hmm. He got female evangelists. He got female bishops. God gonna spew you out. Right. The Bible said if a woman pray or prophesy with the head uncovered, she dishonor her head. And the Bible said the head of every woman is the man. And the Bible says for this cause of the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. The preacher said you ain't got to cover your head, God gonna spew you out. That's right. That's right. And I will. God said. I will. I will. Spew thee out of my mouth. I will spew you out of my mouth. And let's see how you gonna do it. Go back to Matthew. Back in Matthew 7 and verse 23. That's what? And then will I profess unto them. God I say, I'm gonna profess. This is after you profess something to me. Many will say to me in that day. Many will say to me in that day. Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. Have we not prophesied in thy name? Oh, we prophesied in thy name. And in thy name, and in thy cast name we devils. cast out devils. And in thy and name, thy many name. wonderful oh, works. Oh, we built organizations. We built churches. We built schools. We got a 
Christian crews and allowed our women to get on the boat in bikinis That's and right. play gospel music. We smoked reefer, we drunk wine, we partied on the boat in Jesus' name. In thy name. In thy name. Did all this in Jesus' name. That's right. That's right. We went to a Christian comedy club. Jesus' name. Amen. In thy name. Anybody can hide under the name Jesus and use it. That's right. There's a correct way to use it. There's an incorrect way to use it. That's and right. this is why church has become such a dump site of lukewarm garbage. Amen. 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 How did you get so bad that a comedian can come in church and have a Christian <laughs> comedy club? That's right. Invite a comedian, a stooge. That's right. In church. A, a joker. A joker. Amen. A jester. That's right. How did you get so bad that you can invite a rapper? Amen. To be the spokesperson for your church. How did you get so bad yeah. where you preachers? One preacher, in fact, was Bishop Huey Rogers. Mm -hmm. One of the old false prophets of Bible way. Amen. Brought a wrestling ring in church. My Lord, my Lord. Then he got dressed up in a Superman costume. Yeah. In church. One man tied a harness onto himself, floating up in the middle of the air. That's right. In church. In the church. What's the matter with these men? Amen. Lukewarm. Lukewarm. The word has become insignificant in church, and when you are lukewarm, you're weak. That's right. Did you hear what I said? That's right. When you are lukewarm, yeah. you are weak. weak. And a lukewarm man and a lukewarm woman cannot take a hot or solid cold message. No. If it's too cold, they say, that's not loving. Not love. <laughs> that's right. That's not caring. If it's too hot, huh, he always preach with anger. <laughs> Amen. Amen. If it's lukewarm, they say, that's right. That feels so cozy. Feels so good. Why? Because nothing about your wickedness is being exposed. That's right. And nothing about your wickedness is being touched. That's right. And this is the way church has become. They ignore the contents of the book that speak against all of our wickedness. Oh, yeah. So they want a church that don't touch no wickedness. That's right. That's a lukewarm That's church. Lukewarm. Go back to Revelation quickly. Back in Revelation 3 and verse 15. All right. I know thy works. I know thy works. That thou art neither cold you're not nor hot. Cold, you're not hot. I would thou art cold or hot. God said, I want you to be cold or hot. So then, so because then thou art lukewarm. You're lukewarm. You're in the middle. And neither cold nor hot. You're not cold or hot. I will spew thee Lord out of my mouth. God, I'm going to reject you. That's right. Now let's go back to Ephesians. Back Everybody all right? Amen. Listen, let's get dressed up now. Back in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. All right. Finally, my brethren. Finally, church. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Now, Amen. God wants us to be strong. In order for that to take place, we've got to be around strong teaching. Yeah. Weak teaching makes a weak person. That's right. I don't care who you are. That's in right. In boxing, you have the speed bag and you have the big bag. Mm-hmm. The speed bag is that little bag you see hanging like from a ceiling. Yeah. They work on that to build up your speed, your momentum. Yeah. The body bag is to build up your strength in hitting. That's right. The job of your trainer <laughs> is for the trainer to teach you how to utilize both. Yeah. Speed and force. That's right. Now, my job is to teach you how to use Old Testament and New Testament. Mm -hmm. They teach you how to use both and bring them together to bring the force of the scriptures. That's right. Are you getting me? Amen. Before you look for others to be strong, mm -hmm. first, be strong within self. Right. Being strong is not determined by the amount of scriptures you quote. No. <clears throat> Let me break this down much clearer. A lot of folks think they're strong because they were. Have you ever met people who project this spiritual strong image. Mm -hmm. And they think the way you show strength is just walking around quoting scriptures all day. Amen. 
How you doing, sister? Well, I'm telling you, uh, 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 the Lord told David, and David got the stone. I just asked you, how you doing? That's right. <laughs> Talk to a brother. Brother. Hey, brother, it's good to see you. Well, you know, Pastor Jennings, the Bible says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was out form and void, and I was one of those creatures that God created, so I just had to be there because God made me for his glory. <laughs> Look, man, I just asked you how, you know, you're doing. That's right. Car break down. <laughs> you pull over. Brother, up on this hood. Brother, and I can give you a hand. The Bible says, look like every man on his own thing, on the things of others. Wait, wait, wait. Amen. So. This is people, ignorant version. Ignorant version. Notice what I said. That's right. <laughs> this is people's ignorant version, ignorant version of being strong. Yeah. Outrageous scriptural quotation. Mm -hmm. They think having their mind on the Lord is just thinking of scriptures all day. All day. Let's be real. That's right. It ain't nobody. No. Got scriptures in their head all day. Not all day. No way. You know why? Because the Lord said. That's right. He don't strive with man oh, always, oh, oh. seeing but flesh. you but flesh. But flesh. That's right. That's when we become overzealous. 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 Overrighteous. That's right. <clears throat> You're trying to do more than what the Lord even told you to do. Amen. You're trying to do things to impress the Lord. You can't impress him. No. All you can do is obey him. That's all. That's all. Some say, well, Pastor Jennings, I've been praying for the Lord to bless me with a car. I told the Lord, you bless me with a car, I never miss church. <laughs> and then when you get the car, you ride by the church. <laughs> That's right. Overzealousness. Overzealous. It's trying to keep up with someone else because you idolize them so much, too much, until you want to be so much like them, you lose your own identity. That's right. The only one you should want to be like is Christ. Amen. Because he's your only measuring stick for perfection. Yeah. Any brother or any sister you want to be like, wrong. Wrong. The one you want to be like, that's flesh, still got flaws. That's right. They still got struggles, they just don't tell you. That's right. They may try to show this radiant energy of strength all the time, but the truth is they are not strong all the time. Amen. All the time. Are you listening? That's right. That's right. What of God says what? Finally, my brethren. Finally, my brethren. Be, be strong in the Lord. Be strong. In, in the, the Lord, Lord. In the Lord. That's not going around excessively quoting scriptures. That's not giving three hour testimonies. That's right. Because you don't know how to sit down. <laughs> Amen. Your strength is not determined how many times you speak in tongue a day. No. And your strength not determined how long you shake. That's right. Sometimes you can meet people every time you see them. <laughs> you just talk to them. They, they got some anointing. Yeah. You know? That's right. You ever meet people like that? Yeah. You know, you see them, you see them in the market. Hey, brother, how you doing? Hey, hey glory. <laughs> Look, I just asked you, how you doing? Amen. Your car break down? You know, you're on the side of the road. Oh, Keith, <laughs> Keith. What do your car breaking down and you shaking God in common? Amen. <laughs> You shaking ain't gonna fix your car. No. And the spirit you got ain't gonna give your battery a jump. No, it won't. No, it you won't. still need triple A. That's right. You still need a tow truck. That's true. Because the Lord ain't hauling your car. No. Do you get the old man? Amen. Come off your high, arrogant horse. Yeah. And come down to reality like the Bible requires. That's right. That's right. Serving God is not up on a mountain at all times. No way. No way. You're going to be put in the valley and God will give the devil permission to put you there. That's right. The purpose of you being placed there 
How do you know whether God can pick you up if you've never been down there? That's right. How are you going to know? How are you going to know? You can read it. Yeah. Reading is good, but you got to have some experience. That's right. The prophet said, rejoice not, my enemies. Enemy. When I fall, shall arise. I shall rise. That's right. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall, the Lord shall be my everlasting light. That's right. Are you listening? That's right.